With just one month to go until polling day, the heat is on for Labor MPs and electorates all over the city. According to the polls, the ALP could lose as many as 30 seats on March the 26th, and one of those could be that of former New South Wales Premier Nathan Rees. Mr Rees holds the seat of Toon Gabby by a margin of 14.5%, and that makes it potentially winnable for the Liberals. But the current opinion polls are, only, are not the only worry for Mr Rees in Toon Gabby. Caro Meldrum Hanna reports. It's 7 a.m. at Pendle Hill train station in Sydney's western suburbs. The member for Toon Gabby, Nathan Rees, has been here since 5 a.m. At times, it's a thankless task. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, they're gone. 16 years, parties. I've had a couple of later parties. Yeah. Morning, how you the former New South Wales Premier knows that this election just four weeks away will be an uphill battle and he isn't wasting any time. We're just concentrating here on uh, meeting as many people as we can uh, and that's not difficult for us because we've gone out of our way across the term to make sure that we're accessible but uh, my strategy is as straightforward as that. Say hello to people, remind them of the things we've done and ask them for their support directly. Nathan Rees currently holds the seat of Toon Gabby with a margin of 14.5%. It may sound like a comfortable position, but with the latest opinion polls forecasting a statewide swing against Labor of 18%, it's safe seats like this that could fall on March 26. Who will you be voting for? Liberal. And why is that? Well, state of the state. It's just a mess. Good afternoon. The person who's hoping to become the next member for Toon Gabby is the Liberals' Kirsty Lloyd. Yeah, definitely time for a change. Well, look, I'm a local. I'm, I'm a person that, that has a family. I'm not going to be neglecting these people and I'm going to be showing them that if they vote for me that they will have a local voice. The seat, approximately 35 kilometres west of Sydney, stretches from Pendle Hill through Toon Gabby, Seven Hills and Kings Langley. It's a diverse electorate, home to a large working class and multicultural community. We look at this area that needs better, better public transport. Today, Kirsty Lloyd is campaigning in the suburb of Kings Langley, at the northern and more affluent end of the electorate. The mood is very favourable. I think it's time for a change. That's good to hear. And my daughter was wondering who, who you were. My number one concern is making sure that the people of Toon Gabby know that there is an alternative that there is a better choice and that's what I'm doing. I like Nathan Roos um, and I'm half thinking about voting for him but by the same token I um, am sick of the party. There's no question that we've brought some of the difficulty on ourselves, no question about that at all and uh, we only have to point to the, you know, the, string of, the string of dramas that we've had with our personnel. But Nathan Reese's problems in this electorate are not just confined to his government's poor track record. A section of South Asian community certainly will not be voting for Nathan Rees. Toon Gabby is home to one of the largest South Asian communities in New South Wales, and it accounts for almost 15% of the vote. Traditionally, the Indian vote has gone to Labor, but a pre-selection row at the end of last year has put key sections of that community offside. And I felt that there should be some representation uh, of uh, new migrants in the parliament as well. Susai Benjamin, a solicitor and senior review officer with New South Wales Treasury, has been a local ALP member for the past 21 years. He was planning to stand for pre-selection for Labor, in line with Christina Keneally's call for rank and file pre-selections across all New South Wales electorates. But it didn't happen in Toon Gabby. Yeah, yeah, many people are disappointed that there is no pre-selection and why they have not given a chance uh, uh, you know, to go through the pre-selection. The officials made the decision that they believe put us in the best position to, uh, to, uh, to win the suit and win government and uh, obviously I support that decision. <laughs> Dr Yadu Singh is the President of the Council of Indian Australians. Tonight, he's meeting with other prominent members of the South Asian community in Western Sydney. They're seriously considering running at least one independent in the seat of Toon Gabby. 
there is a talk going on in the community that uh, in Tuing Abbey there should be uh, somebody from South Asian background contesting election as in, in as an independent. Now that process has not finalized, has not been finalized. But I won't be surprised if there is one independent candidate, if not more, uh, coming in Tuing Abbey contesting election and basically see what happens. It's a bold move and one that could have serious consequences for Nathan Rees. I understand that either those votes would be killed, which means no preference to anybody, or they might go to Liberal Party. That's what I am I'm sensing at the moment. Are there concerns post, you know, no pre-selection, that this may have an effect on the Indian community supporting you now? I've seen no evidence of that in the slightest. In fact, quite the reverse. Um, we've done lots of work uh, with the different community groups but for example I brought AR Rahman into Sydney when I was Premier I made sure we moved quickly on the Indian student violence issue which occurred in Victoria to make sure it didn't happen here uh, we opened a trade office in Mumbai uh, the Indian community across New South Wales knows that I've been a friend and I have been attending lots of Indian festivities, meeting, meeting lots of that culture out there and getting out there and meeting not, not just only that culture but meeting other cultures as well. And it's very important to just not think that you've got one particular culture that you need to grasp hold of, but you need to be looking at all cultures across the electorate. The prospect of an independent candidate potentially drawing votes away from Labor will be welcome news for Kirsty Lloyd. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. How are you today? Thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. I'm Kirsty Lloyd, the Liberal candidate for this area. Yes, please to meet you. Good. Hi. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Good. My name's Nathan. I'm a local member. Nathan Rees says he won't consider defeat. I'm not going to give that any kind of plated thought until uh, un until Sunday morning. I, I, it's going to be very close here. It's going to be close in a number of seats around New South Wales, and I, I won't let that thought cross my mind until the, until a result like that happens. It's pointless.